when we say the easiest way for you to have non-resistant thought is to get out ahead of it oh we'll say it to you even in a more blunt way the easiest way for you to have non-resistant thought is to hang out with a new person that you don't know the less you know about them the less resistant thought is within you oh you're a stranger I love you <laughs> oh you killed your entire family oh. <laughs> we're just playing with you a little bit here but we want you to just for a moment try to feel the power of this non-resistant thought so we've been saying recently what you want to do is get out ahead of it you want to get out ahead of your thoughts and people want to get out ahead of it they just don't know what that means and we gave one example already segment intending means I'm in a new segment new people just walked into the room and do you know that our segment just changed because they have no idea what we've been talking about and so the energy of the room has just shifted now not a problem to all of us because we're in the vortex yes we're in that empowerment might be a little while for them to catch up with it but the segment did just shift and therefore you are going to notice a little repetition that you wouldn't have noticed before had new people not walked into the room following what we're getting at getting out ahead of it don't want confusion on the part of those that haven't been here so when you get into your automobile it's a new segment when a new person joins you at the dinner table a new segment begins and if you will take just a moment we're talking about a few seconds to acknowledge ah new segment and what I intend is because if you get out ahead of it what I intend is to have fun if you're out ahead of it even though somebody who joined your dinner table who was in a bad mood and wasn't planning on having any fun if you got out ahead of it with your intent to have fun you're more likely to have fun even though he isn't this is powerful stuff because you are we love you so much you are indeed jerkers you have knee-jerk reactions to life and that holds you in mundane creation it holds you in less powerful creation it doesn't let you feel your absolute power now here's another thing we're gonna stay with you for a little while on this conversation until we can feel that you're grasping it because this process you've heard the words before daydream do you remember when you were kids before you were responsible before you felt responsible before you were resistant before you were defensive some of you can remember those moments in time some of them you've been living recently but it's a little snatch of time where somehow you're not resistant in thought and your mind is just receiving the ingredients of your vortex they're putting themselves together with the tutelage or tutorage or tutorialage with the help of your inner being who knows where you stand in relationship to everything that you want and knows what the ingredients that you put into your vortex is so knows what the path of least resistance is for you to receive a thought so do you think that you're here to create your own reality you are but do you think that the reason that you are here to create your own reality is that when you create your own reality you will like it better well that's one reason but it isn't the reality that you are creating that you are here about it's the thrill of reality creating that you're here about it's the thrill of lining up with your true power and watching what you desire flow to you through the power of your own focus it's the journey now you've heard that your whole life the joy is in the journey almost everybody is saying it and nobody knows even what they mean when they're talking about the joy is in the journey but we want you to know that what we mean by the joy is in the journey is that you did a lot of the journey when you knew what you didn't want and therefore knew what you did want and you say well that was not all that joyful and we say well it was to your inner being because you were identifying who you are when someone was rude you said I like nicer when somebody was hateful you want more love when somebody is diminished in some way you want upliftment when someone is sick you want well when someone's confused you want clarity when it's you even more you've been isolating and identifying and there is this extraordinary grouping of ingredients that are the making of an ecstatic life experience for you but you got to find a way 
to be in the vibrational vicinity of it now we've been telling you this story in lots of different ways we've been saying to you step one is you ask that's the contrast part of it know what I don't want ask for what I do want whether you put it in words or not step two is that's the source energy part of it that's your inner being part of it that's the vortex part of it. that's the gathering of the cooperative components part of it step two when you ask it is given it's in vibrational form and you say I don't want it to be in vibrational form I want it to be out where I can see it I'd like to park it in my garage I'd like to take it to my bed I would like to go to the movies with it <laughs> I don't want this vibrational reality creation and we say but it is that way in the beginning and so if you will accept that the ingredients are there and that you will be guided you will be led you'll be called you are being guided you are being led you are being called to your path of least resistance but what we're saying to you here today is you've got some whopping resistance going on because you have played the objective game so much that you hardly ever put yourself in a position where you can receive an impulse that's on the path of least resistance and feel the empowerment of your inner being about it so as we're moving forward in this day we'll play some of this with you if you want to we want this to just not be something that sort of is intellectually satisfying or even something that makes some sense to you if you've been studying the law of attraction we want it to be something that feels real to you we want it to be something that you say all day long as Esther often does Ooh, I've got that magical thing going because if you take 10 seconds here and 10 seconds there and 10 seconds here to let yourself dream free if you will allow yourself to just dream free Esther's been playing this game we'll tell you some of it we'll tell you some of the amazing things that have been happening as a result of it but here's one really extraordinary manifestation that came about as a result of Esther hearing what we're saying about daydream and by daydream we mean you're not asleep by daydream we mean you're awake and by daydream we mean it hasn't manifested yet still it's still a dream and by daydream we mean you're in your day you're wide awake but what's in your vortex which you are still calling a dream is visualized by you it's felt by you it's known by you you know it even though it hasn't come out to play to you these thoughts have not yet turned to things where you and everyone else can see them but they are real and they are unfolding and they will come out and play with you where you will see them there's power in this but if you daydream a little and then you kill it with reality and then you daydream a little and then you kill it with reality and you daydream a little and then you contradict it with some other fact then you're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and you're never allowing the true power of this to culminate into something that manifests there are people in your world that are doing that there are masters of science and masters of mathematics and masters of music and masters of all kinds of things there are inventors of things there are all kinds of people that have allowed these thoughts to turn to things in their mind who have been willing to follow that non-resisted path who have been willing here it is to pay the great big price of happiness we know we're being sarcastic it's a lot to ask of you to want to feel good enough that you will isolate some thoughts and allow yourself to be that dreamer so here we're just going to tell you one of the things that happened to Esther and as we move forward if there's time and if we're not full of all what you are asking for then we'll tell you what Esther's been doing but we'd rather talk about what you are asking for but well, there's so much good stuff going on so Esther said Abraham what do you mean by a daydream and we said it's a thought that just occurs to you and when it does it's so delicious you don't want to take your attention from it and when you allow yourself to just softly receive it this is not a thought you think this is a thought you receive this is not you making something happen this is not you setting goals this is you receiving clues and ideas and impulses about the goals you've already set this is about having masters of the universe focusing to you and you being in a place of receiving the thought and it being pleasant while you receive it and not too long after you knowing that that was a piece and 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 oh wow look at this so Esther went to Nashville for the first time to visit some friends she bought a Jeep drove it home <laughs> it was so fun and while she was there they went to dinner 
and on their way to dinner they saw a building and her friend said our friend has been in this building for many many years she's sort of like the heart of the community but she and her husband are moving out of town now and so she's selling everything in the building want to go in Esther said yes <laughs> so she went in and there were all kinds of beautiful things there were crystals for sale and jewelry for sale and artwork of all fashion and all kinds of really beautiful things and Esther got fixated on her friend pointed it out to her and then Esther couldn't take her eyes off of it it's a painting a man from Vietnam painted it the colors are soft and lovely but it is a painting of a lake most beautiful soft colors it's oil but it's so soft it looks like pastels and in the sky are two owls Esther likes owls and in the lake is a bed just sitting on the water with a red bedspread and a woman sitting on it sitting and Esther said she's got to be daydreaming nothing else makes sense if she was dreaming she'd be laying down what's that bed doing on the lake anyway <laughs> I'm gonna frame that and I'm gonna put a little plaque on it and it's gonna say daydream now don't you think that's nice that Esther would find something maybe it's not ringing your bells but it rang her bells it rang her bells what else could this possibly be this is someone wide awake in the middle of the day sitting on her bed in the middle of a lake what do you want to talk about a lot of trouble in this room 